Hello and welcome back again my friend to the crypto prediction today or Bitcoin forecast or BTC price prediction. This is Thomas with you again guys. We came back in another video and in that video guys we're going to take you here in the daily. So for investors or crypto investors to know exactly what is it in the market then we go into the four hours here to analyze for you for the four hours for swing traders then we're going to go to 30 minute guys then we're going to bring to you the economic data of tomorrow so make sure to watch everything guys and don't skip any part of that video watch it from the start till the end i know some of you did try to skip the video there is no information my friend very very quick if you want information you need to get slow and to listen a little bit okay so let's start guys so as you see here the daily candle it's finished is it that one here that red one here and me watch me i told you about that candle here i told you it's monday candle yes or no and look at it guys if we zoom in like that what you see in here 50 percent which is red here then 50 percent as a tell as a shadow and where it happened it happened from them at my buyers they still want the bitcoin to go higher guys picture is too clear guys and here in the daily what else we telling you before we tell you for long-term investors you need to wait in the break to happen here either up here or down here you need to wait in the market where it's going to break if it doesn't break there is no entry remember that if the market don't break either up or either down that inside bar that one and that green one here by the way that one is the candle of ftx collapse if it doesn't break there is no entry yet guys remember that picture is too clear by the way you yes you my friend are you not yet subscriber make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn the bell notification on to receive all our latest updates and videos make sure to turn that red button down to white click at it now you done it next to it a bell turn it to all like that when we put in something new you're going to be notified or you can even join us in telegram the link of our telegram is it in the first comma you done it welcome to the family my friend now let's go in to see the coming news for tomorrow guys here it is the coming news as you see it what we got here what we got here for tomorrow we got only consumer confidence of usa that one it will not have a big impact to the market guys but that week is a very 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 huge week you need to be very very careful that week don't try to just to jump to the market because that week you're going to see big volatility guys and people they trade in 30 minutes they saw that everything is too clear and here what we got in our friend that one every time us we see it what we got here US stocks guys all of them they are red today look here at Dow Jones the SP500 the Nasdaq everything is red yes or no plus our friend it's the VIX what it's showing to us today it go up compared to yesterday we used to be 20 now we are 22.21 what that man the scarness in the market is getting more higher guys why because the protest was happening now in china and that protest has got a big big impact about the scarness in the market because china is a huge player in the world economical and in the on chain of the world economical so you need to make a close eye what's happening now in china how it's going to end up picture is too clear guys now let me show you the other news i got for you the first one guys is the one from jp morgan and majority of you didn't know JP Morgan who is it. JP Morgan, the believe regulation will bring a lot of investors to the crypto. That was me I've been telling you before. I tell you, regulation is going to bring a lot of new investors to the crypto. I'm not talking about regulation about the crypto. No, regulation to the exchanges. So we're not talking about regulation, regulation to the crypto. That one, no one will accept it. Also, we're talking about regulation or exchanges because the crypto, no one can control. Crypto is decentralized, guys. No one can make it centralized. Over here is the problem. Another thing we got, guys, very, very important is that one. The BlockFi. BlockFi actually, what can we say? It's like it used to work in like a bank. If you, you got crypto, I... I have a lot of friends of me, they put in crypto of them in that block file and now they stole them. I've been warning them because that's the problem of them. And problem of people in, what can we say, everywhere in the world. I can't say in the Western world or third world or anywhere. Problem of them, people, when they hurt someone, he gave them high interest rate, they go there, all of them. I am personally, 
I don't accept any interest rate. I got my personal way why I'm not accepting the interest rate. A lot of things, but me, I don't accept the interest rate. Because anything is free, there is problems, guys. And that BlockFi, it used to give people 8% about the crypto depot there. And that crypto depot there, what the BlockFi doing by it, they lend it. And majority of it, they lend it to FTX. Then when FTX collapse, buy buy all the crypto and those people. Now that BlockFi is going to bankruptcy. That's why you say the crypto today, it fell down that much. So guys, always put your crypto in a safe place. Actually, even if you earn that interest rate, it will be nothing compared if you buy and you hold it for some time. Picture is too clear, guys. Now it's going back to the chart to show you more. Here we are in the chart, guys. Now it's going to sell our indicators. What the same for pictures to be more clear to you here in the daily. Here in the daily, guys, what me I told you in the last video. I told you used to have here a divergence. And now that one, it came back to here. And it showed that big tail there. Now let's hope from here it's going to go higher and to break for us that level here. Because today, Monday and Monday, as I tell it to you before, always the market doing against what he will do all the work. So we need to make a close eye here. If it's going to break or not. Picture is too clear, guys. Now let's go into the four hours to see what the Bitcoin doing right now in the four hours for swing traders and those things. So let's go in there. Here we are in the four hours. By the way, you. Yes, you, my friend. Did you smash the like button? I know you don't. Please pause the video. Go ahead now. Smashing the thumbs up down. Writing down a comment. Support us, guys. You know, without your support, us, we can't stay here. Us, we're doing very, very, very hard job to put in those videos for you. And we don't ask you for nothing. Just to smash the like button to write down a comment. So go ahead and do it. It will not take you that much. It's just one second. You done it? Thank you very, very, very much, my friend. And I appreciate all the help I get from you guys. Here in the four hours, guys, us what we said here here what else we said we said we got here a wage that wage is being broken here in that level by the way the wage is that one or triangle name it like that it's being broken here also we enter long we put stop loose down here take profit we bring that one like that then in the place where it's breaking we make it like that then also we said the take profit is going to be here in that zone yes or no now what it's showing to us here in that level here look with me what it's showing to you what it's happened there that rejection what happened today in a very stronger level guys you see it or no now either from here you're going to see it going high and it's going to break for us that last high here which is that one then you're going to see the bitcoin going higher here or from here it will go down and hit for us the stop loss here and us we will enter that time short guys and i'm going to tell you why why us we will enter short if it's breaking there look with me here and here guys what you see in here that the triangle why us we enter long yes or no so if that one came down here i'm breaking that one here if that one came here i'm breaking here down what all that break here is going to tell you it's going to tell you all that break here is it a fake breakout yes or no so if it came a breaking down here also we will enter short guys tell now what should we do we need to wait in i tell it to you either from here we're going to go higher and we're breaking that level here or it's going to fall down and it's going to break for us that level picture is too clear now let's go into our indicators what the same for pictures to be more clear to you that one here i show you the one before that the divergence line and as you see it here we are in the top of it guys now from that level either we're going to go back and we're breaking the top one or from here is going to go down to the oversold area guys picture is very 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 clear now what you need to do nothing and i show you that before i told you look here that indicator of us what it's telling you by the way that indicator is just an oscillator guys what it's showing you look here and look here that indicator is preferred to stay down where is the bears they controlling more where is the bulls they controlling yes or no just by your normal eyes what it telling you look here in that level that where is the bulls they controlling look here that where is the bears they controlling what the indicator is doing because that one is just a momentum indicator over here the bears they controlling look how long is is pending here more than the double of that one yes or no so what that all that is telling you all that is telling you the bears they still very 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 powerful and people they are in the market majority of them they still believe in the bitcoin which will fall down more than that guys picture is too clear now let's go into see our other indicator what it's saying guys that one here guys also we enter because we used to be here at the oversold area level we used to be in a very stronger supply and demand zone 
Third thing, we got a price action, it's breaking here. We enter long, that's it. We're aiming just to take profit here in that level. Now, what that indicator of us is showing to us here? It enter here to the oversold area again. Now, what should we do? One thing, guys, if it came down here and breaking that level here, we will enter short again because we will enter to go into 10k, guys. If it's not only from here and go back up, that's another story. So now, what should we do? Nothing, we need just to wait in. Picture is very clear, guys. Nothing too hard, nothing complicated. Now it's going to 30 minutes to see if there is any scalping opportunity for tomorrow. So it's going there. Here we are in 30 minutes. Here in 30 minutes, what me I told in the last video. I told you, you got here a price action. Look at it. What should you do now? It's need that one to come back and to break up for us to enter long here. As a scalper here, Mira, I'm talking, not long term investor. So now here what it's showing to us. It's showing to us. It's coming down. Should we buy? Not yet. There is no price action here indicating for us. Us we need to enter long yet. The only price action we have is that one. Look at it. Even here you have the trend line if you bring it from here. And here you have a price action. So if that one came and break in here, yes, you can enter long here, guys. You can even do it like that. Picture is too clear, guys. Now if it came that one breaking up here, you can enter long. But when? When the break is happening. Now there is no break, guys. Why should we enter long? Let me show you why. Our indicator, what it's telling you? Pause here. We are at the oversold area, guys. Yes or no? Level, we are in a very, very strong supply and demand zone. And even in the four hours, I'll show it to you. Price action, I'll show you one. That one. Look at it here, like that. If it came from here and breaking up here, you enter long, guys. Remember that. If it came here and breaking here, you enter long. It will go back till here. Our other indicator, what is telling you guys? Let's see it. Our other indicator. Look at it here. Look here with me very, very close here. Let me zoom it out like that. Look now here, guys. And here, what you see? You got here a divergence. Yes or no? Look here. If you bring in that peak here and that peak here, what you see? Look down here. That one is low and that one is high. Here in the chart, that one is high and that one here is low. So that one is a divergence, guys. Now what should we do? As I show it to you, you bring that one like that and you wait in the break to happen here. If it's happening, you enter long, take profit of you. It needs to be here at that place. Me, I'm talking here about scalpers. Everything is too clear, guys. So that's it for that video. See you after European market close. Bye for now, guys.